Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, guys, I'm out here today at one of our favorite locations. We love coming here. There's aggressive spotted bass, there's pickerel, there's bowfin, there's crappy we just found out. So this place is actually really dope. What I'm here talking about today is flies that you can use for bass fishing. If you were to research today, best flies for bass fishing, I can almost guarantee one of the first things to come up and the most common thing is gonna be a popper but any knowledgeable bass fisherman knows certain times of the year top water just doesn't work so today i'm talking about subsurface flies there's a company called the flyman fishing company that makes a product called fish skulls and this is one of their products we have the fish skulls forge minnow this skull right here not only looks amazing but this fly will get down a lot deeper than your average fly. This is called the Fish Skulls River Creature. This thing actually kind of imitates a jig. It's got these rubber legs like a jig. The Fish Skulls Super Bugger, which is just a woolly bugger with a, a big fat head on it. And this thing gets down quick. We got the Sculpin Bunny and the Sculpin Bugger, which are two other great options. And they come with these flat heads that help these lures kind of bounce off the bottom and keep from getting hung up. These are kind of like close to like jigs almost in the uh, conventional tackle world. And then they even go into bigger flies like articulated flies like the Candyman, which you may have seen in one of our other videos. This thing is juicy. These flies are amazing. And I'm gonna go out here today, show you how I fish them, show you what situations you would use them in and how amazing they are. So let's get out there and get started. So I think I'm gonna start out with the Fish Skull Super Bugger. This thing is a beefed up version of a woolly bugger and i have some confidence in it so we're gonna throw this today let's tie a loop knot because that gives a little more action all right what i'm hoping for is that i don't have to travel too far down this river the river is actually low which is nice so i got the skullfish super bugger tied on we're gonna see how it does i'm not planning on catching a lot of fish today the goal is to prove my theory that these skulls help the flies get down and attract those deeper fish so i'll probably catch one or two fish per fly optimistically speaking catch one or two fish per fly and then switch to a new one this is about the only place i can get a full cast out without waiting and the water's still a little cold for me to be wading, but I'll take a dive if I need to. Let's go up here to the trees. So the most difficult part about fishing this river is, especially fly fishing, is, is casting. It's uh, there's not much space to get a full cast on, so a lot of times you're just flipping it out, which not that fun when you're fly fishing, but it's all about that tug anyway. Yep, yep, sweet, let's go. Try not to wake up all his friends. Come on, buddy. First fish of the day, he hit it as it was sinking and it was pretty far down. I got lucky and watched him hit it. And that's the only reason I caught him because I was not ready. But first fish, little chunky boy. That's what I'm talking about, let's go. Floating line is nearly essential for this type of fishing. When you're using a sinking lure, if you're trying to get down deep and you have a lot of stuff like these trees to get hung on, if you have sinking line, if you get hung up, you're just hung up. But because of the way this floating line works, the line goes out and then the lure goes straight down. So a lot of times you could just pick the lure up over stuff instead of sinking line where you're pulling straight towards yourself. Yep, there he is. I threw it right in that brush, let it sink, and he came out and got it. There we go. All right, I said I would switch. It's so hard to switch, you know, when something's working, but I guess it's time to switch. See if I can catch it on something else. Mm. So I'm talking about, and there's that, that spotted bass that live here. They got those red eyes 
Man, he choked it. Yeah, so there he is. Our she. These things are fun to catch. Feel like a freaking smallmouth almost. Get a release here. <clears throat> Smooth. To be honest, I would never switch up a fly this quick if it's working like that. But I do like having a little bit of flash in here. There are some that flash more than others. This is actually one I didn't show in the intro I found on the way out. This is the Skullfish Forage Minnow. And yeah, this thing's just a really great bait fish imitation once again. Also something to talk about is when you tie a fly, typically most of the tying and threads are up here at the hook at the eye of the hook. When you're catching stuff like this spotted bass that are so aggressive and they're biting all the time, this fish skull actually does a really good job at protecting your threads so your fly doesn't get torn up as easy. So I'm gonna tie this on. We're gonna catch a few on this and then we're gonna move on to the next. Yep, we wanted it. He definitely wanted it. I had to get it way down there. Spot a bass on another fish skull fly. Oh, God, he's scared. Shoot. Ooh, that was a little rough. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I wanted to stop real quick and show you what I'm working with. This is a TFO legacy it is a eight foot six four weight that's about as low as i would go with throwing this kind of stuff and then i got four weight floating line uh, scientific angler and then the tfo ntr reel which is sweet i'm gonna get back after it and uh see if i can't finish this challenge off so this time i'm actually gonna throw the river creature it just seems right now this thing is not the greatest swimmer in the world but I can get it down to the bottom it's got i got a little bit of sunlight and it's got a little bit of flash if this works i know what my my next lure will be they still tag this even though it has a little bit of flash i think they'll definitely tag the forge minnow which is honestly one of my favorites when it's in the water. I got that and one more. One that has actually caught me pretty nice bow fin before. Let's make sure we get a fish on this one first. I'm actually gonna try to hop this like a jig on the bottom because it's got those, this has got the rubber, uh, the skirt material. I called it legs earlier, sorry. The skirt material. It's gonna present a cool profile in the water, kind of like, almost like a jig. So I'm gonna try to hop it maybe. I don't get hung up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Oh no. Did you? Oh my God, dude. A big old bowfin just snatched my fly. Oh, I thought it was a bass. He ripped it right off. Oh, I should have gave him line. I shouldn't even set the hook. Son of a biscuit. My heart is pumping, boy. My gosh, that thing came out of nowhere. Oh, I hope that was all on camera. God, he was big. Oh, I hope that was on camera. My feelings are hurt. That dude snatched my fly. Wow. Yeah, I told y'all there was both in here. So I got the mini gully bugger in a nice crawfish color tied on. Funny thing about this lure is I actually caught a bowfin out of a pond with this lure on this rod. The only reason I think I lost that bowfin so fast was because I had just switched leaders and I was down to the skinny part of the taper leader. It was a 6X and it was down to the skinny skinny part and he snatched it right off. That hurt to watch him just swim away but that was exhilarating though. Am I about to climb out there to get this?
I don't know if I trust that log or not. I don't even know if I can get to it, to be honest. Nah, son of a... All right, so Candyman tied on. Let's finish off strong. I'm gonna fish back to the truck. Yep, yep, don't go nowhere. Please stay on. It's in the current, but it feels good. It's the biggest bass of the day. Oh yeah. Come here. There we go. He choked. That thing is ugly, son. That's the ugly bass I've ever seen one. That lip is jacked up. All right, I'm gonna let this ugly guy go. Check that bottom lip out one more time. He's still eating though, so. Go eat some more, bud. Maybe there's a feeding frenzy right at dark. That'd be sweet. Yep. I thought I had a fish on. He must have, he swam straight at me, I think. They feel big in this current. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's largemouth, I believe. I can't ever tell. Definitely a little bit different than the last one. The last one was uh, a little weird. Come here. Oh, what is that? That was a crappy dude, it looked weird. Sweet. Yeah, they're out here. Right through the nose. Crappy. Not a crappy way to end the day, but I'm not done yet. I was wondering what was coming up and swiping like that and missing because those spotted bass they don't miss too much They're pretty good hunters all right it's getting dark day's over really good day of fishing actually Candy man got it done at the end of the day, so that's always great. Fish Skulls, Flyman Fishing Company, you gotta check them out. My favorite subsurface fly, they work. You saw that they work, and I'm not the greatest fly fisherman in the world. Tough conditions out here fishing from the bank, but caught a bunch of fish, had a lot of fun, and remember, all it takes is one, baby. Slap out.